for honor how to master lawbringer anyway mastering doesn't really come instantly like not if not like if you watch this video you're instantly yeah, going to be a master lawbringer but it's more like uh you spend some time with using these tips or practicing using these tips or even just practicing how to use this character and you'll get good and then master anyway he has uh, quite a number of chain attacks but the one that you should use the most even though it might seem like it gets repetitive but has uh, like the last heavy attack in a different uh how to call it um and let's say a different guard position you can actually do something a little different judge jury and executioner that combo has a unblockable heavy attack um, no matter what position the last heavy attack of the chain would if you wonder what the chain is light attack heavy attack heavy attack or if you use the 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 hero specific perk where you need where you can just use the shove which is is similar to the oh the shoulder charge from the warden basically you dodge in a direction then hold X uh, kind of uh, only they can't dodge backwards if you dodge backwards you'll do um, you know, oh, uh, basically you'll toss him over backwards which is the long arm which is not really what you need uh, anyway when you do that you can actually do just two top heavies and you'll be done with that or you can do a he top heavy or or a side heavy it's just that if you do a sideways uh, unblockable heavy it'll be more of a area attack more of a frontal cone attack which is good against people that can dodge a lot and then there's also uh, the ones uh, the he upwards heavy attack which it will stun your enemy a little bit and also I'm not sure but I have a feeling it might do a little bit more damage anyway other than that most of all of his um, actual defense comes from your parrying skills if you don't know what that means well basically just line up your guards with somebody else's and just before their attack hits you hit the heavy attack you know actually like uh, do a full blown block and it'll toss the weapon over kind of stunning them for a little bit leaving le leaving them wide open for uh, let's say uh, a light reposture or impaling reposture or even the make way um, area attack or even uh, parry and then an upwards heavy to do the blind justice which is pretty good since it, it guarantees you to get a, a stun with the top heavy attack and also it's unblockable two plus sides it, so basically most of your chains or infinite combos or whatever are gonna be based off the shove and then the two heavies most of them like just shove heavy heavy shove heavy heavy or shove long arm over then light heavy heavy uh, it's just like to mix it up and whatnot and if your enemy decides to counterattack, uh, you can uh, uh, wait for them to attack and do um, a light reposture or uh, impaling charge or whatnot, depending on the situation. But then also another thing with Lawbringer, th your the map is your friend. Since you all you have all of these like push abilities or even the impaling charge which is not in guard mode where you sprint as fast as you can towards your enemy and hit the heavy attack while sprinting you'll uh, kind of charge at him and get an impale on him and just keep running with him on the tip of your sp spear or axe thing and uh, you can uh, do that to push him off the map or even just get a good start off to get your good old uh, combos on the only thing is is that when you use this you drain the life out of the stamina bar like literally like it, you do that and you do one combo and that's it for your stamina so I suggest on your gear to uh, ramp up the um, the cost reduction and or the stamina region I'd say the stamina region better because you 
with the stamina cost reduction, you're gonna have to sacrifice your defense or attack, which is, nah, you kinda need the attack and the defense. Like, you don't wanna be the hit marker machine, nor be the glass cannon, which is actually one very big glass cannon, which moves very, very slow, which is one of the drawbacks using the Lawbringer. He's slow on the heavy attacks. But that's why you have all of those stuns and whatnot to use. Uh, other than that, no, when it comes to being crowded, any hero, turn your tail and run. Uh, yeah, even Lawbringer. But if you're good enough, and there's not too many enemies, like if you're going 1v6, or one, I mean 1v4, it's not going to go for you. It's never going to go for you. But if you're like yeah, may, the occasional 2v1, you can probably get away with it because of revenge mode and the make way area attack combo. Basically, you impale, doesn't matter if it's outside of your guard mode or the guy you're uh, locked onto. Just do that and hit the arm. Uh, hit the light attack and the heavy attack button at the same time to get that make way thing going. Well, anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop the comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video on the channel. I'm out of here. <laughs>